feel healthier than I did when I was 20. So but it seems it like, like a dance there's song. nothing left to do. And then you got rich. <laughs> well, I wish. Really? <laughs> That's ours. Sounds like ours. It's depressing, so it's probably <laughs> ours. We weren't really ready for that, but we enjoyed it uh, nonetheless. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. We got case choice here. Hi guys, how are Hi. you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How is it to be back in Germany? It's been really fun actually. We're halfway through this uh, tour here and the crowds have just been so warm and welcoming and happy to see us, so we, uh, we feel really good. And this, after a career of 25 years, mm -hmm. do you remember the start? Well, or just now because you have to think about it a lot because everybody's asking about it. <laughs> When we started doing well in uh, Belgium and also in the uh, surrounding countries like France and, and, and Germany at the time, uh, those were all first times. It was the first time that we went with a band to, uh, to Paris. It was the first time that we went with a band to Berlin. And, and uh, you remember those things. And afterwards, it's still very nice to do it. And we were grateful that we can still do that on a daily basis after 25 years. But those first couple of years probably made most, uh, were most impressive to us because they were first timers. How much older do you feel from there to now? Is this 25 years or more like three, four, a uh half? -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel healthier than I did when I was 20, so that's good. I don't, <laughs> that is I, really I, good. I, my eyesight's worse and my knee's not as good anymore, but <laughs> I, feel, I feel better physically, I think, and I feel much more uh, in balance. When I think back, especially when I see interviews from way back then, I think, ah, oh, so serious. So the sick. hair, oh my god. Well, that of course, the whole twenty-five years, the <laughs> hair, but um, but just the the how how seriously we took ourselves and everything was so uh, yeah. Just I can just tell in my face, like like I just want to tell my twenty-year-old self, like just relax, <laughs> relax a little, bit. lighten up. It's it's all gonna be fine. And I guess it's a lot, a lot, a lot of memories. If you could pick one right now, which you can live, relive again, which would it be, Gerd? Uh, I don't know. I think probably um, the first time we played for a really big audience uh, in Paris as a support for Brian Adams. Awesome. That made a, a very, very big impression on all of us because we were used to playing in uh, clubs smaller than this one. Um, with the two of us and with the band, so uh, usually were sometimes there were twenty people, sometimes there were, sometimes there were sixty, and all of a sudden there were six thousand, and uh, we weren't really ready for that, <laughs> but we enjoyed it uh, nonetheless. <laughs> Do you remember this too, or is it just erased? No, no, I remember, I remember that one. If I, if I had to pick, that was definitely a good one. If I had to pick one, it would be the first time we played Pink Pop, I think, because it was that's a huge festival in Holland that we looked up to when we were kids and um, you know only big rock bands played there and to think that we were actually uh, one of those bands all of a sudden um, was amazing and then actually being there in front of I think 30,000 people and we played a very intimate little song the two of us and our members looking at each other like this is insane that people are actually listening and we have this amount like I, I remember that very vividly as being like I think we kind of made it now. I think we. I think we've. You know, we're at a different level now. It was. Uh, it was amazing. Case Jones, I've listened a lot to your music, and this is gonna be a hard one. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five years lyrics making. I chose some of them, and you have to decide: is this yours or from another Belgian musician? Okay. First one. Time is ticking. Try to see. That's definitely ours. Right. Yeah. From which song, you know? Uh, if you're not scared. Yeah. Right, very good. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Version State of Mind, that's Perfect. ours. Sweet. <laughs> Reminds me of the second time. Mm -mm. Not from you, that's right. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It's another Belgian band? Uh, it's the, the singer is from Belgium. The melody would be, Reminds me of the second time. <laughs> Placebo, The Bitter End. Oh. Singer's Belgian? Yeah. It's not unlike a miracle. Um, that's ours. Right. 
I surrender. Right. We learn so much, but never know. That's how I was almost happy. Right. It's written in our stories. No. No, it's not ours. Right. Can you sing it? <laughs> it's written in our stories. It's written on the wall. It's from Lost Frequencies. Ah, Reality. Okay. When the answer is on your face. That's ours. Right. Which song? Yeah. Oh, oh good in my bed. Right. Yeah. Ah, good. Yeah. Nice, nice title, by the way, no? <laughs> Got in my bed. Dreams from the past faded so fast. That's not harsh. No. Right. Any idea? No. It's Vaya con Dios. What's a woman? Oh. It's an awesome song. That yes, it is. Great song. Though my heart is breaking. I don't think that's ours. I don't think so either. Right. The melody would be, though my heart is breaking. I will love again. Lara Fabian. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm afraid of it. You sang it very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Please continue singing. <laughs> and who am I to tell you? That's ours, because right. I don't remember which song. It's Perfect Scar. Oh, oh right. Of course. Yeah. But oh. you know, it was yours. Yeah. No one can resist the desire. I don't believe that's ours. That's right. <laughs> it's a classic from the 90s. And the melody would be, no one can resist a desire to escape to paradise. <laughs> but it seems it like, like a dance there's song. nothing left to do. Yeah, it's too unlimited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. Okay. We're very bad at other Belgian bands, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. But you're very good at it, so it's fine. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just not okay. That's Phantom Cowboy. No. No? But it's from you. Sometimes I'm just not okay. Private Revolution. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. It's yeah, yeah. It's nice to know your name. That's not. That's not ours. I don't think. You're gonna have to he's, sing. He's very famous. I, I, I didn't get the lyrics, but I, I, I just can sing the the hook. You don't know. You don't know. Oh. Milo. Yes. Milo, Milo yeah. was it. And the last one. There's no more pain. Um, that's ours. Sounds like ours. Yes. Depressing, so it's probably ours. <laughs> not an addict. Yeah, there <laughs> There's a chair in my head in which I used to sit, took a pencil and I wrote, we're following on in. Now there's a key where my wonderful mouth used to be. First time I recognized you was, of course, I'm a 90s child in mm -hmm. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, okay. You were awesome. Really. Uh, I bought the soundtrack just because of Virgin State of Mind. Oh, cool. And it was mind blowing. The, the soundtrack was released in Germany, when I remember correctly, before they aired it. Oh, really? So uh, it was great to hear that song, and then it came on the show, and I was like, <gasps> Oh my God, there it is. Oh my God. And it's, you made such a beautiful performance in there. You were so young. I oh, know, so I know. Young, so sweet, with the long blonde hair. So sweet. Yeah. The music director of that show was a fan of Case Choice. It was after, mm -hmm. after Not an Addict and after we'd been doing pretty well in the, in the States. And um, it was a song that didn't really fit that well on any of our records. And, and so, you know, it was kind of like a little oddball mm -hmm. within the records that we were making at that time. So. It seemed perfect, and um, it turned out to be such a great thing for us because you know Buffy was huge and such a cult following, and and I heard from Buffy fans that it was a really kind of a pivotal episode as well. It was kind of oh, like yeah. an important it was awesome. episode, yeah. So um, yeah, it was like our, a big uh, Hollywood yeah, experience Hollywood for moment. us. Yeah, to actually it, be there, you know. Like, how was it on set? Yeah, it was something we've never done before. We've recorded uh, videos. For our, uh, for our songs, but to be in an actual Hollywood uh, studio with a, a pretty famous actors and uh, just being part of that was a, a very unique experience. It was, uh, it was wonderful. Did you know at that point that this song will be on the soundtrack of Puffy the Vampire Slayer? We knew we were going to be on the show because we were... Uh, on stage. We were on stage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you got rich. <laughs> well, I wish. <laughs> Um, but it was great. It, it really was, and and it's a song that keeps that people keep requesting after, after all these years. Awesome. Yeah, especially here, actually, and in the states, the more than in Belgium. First chords are so awesome. The 
the quality of the emotion you're transporting on this music is well it, <laughs> uh, it seems it means more to me <laughs> than to you of course because you made music for people sometimes for you but i guess mostly for the people and you got me whole time big time nice with this song i want to thank, thank you, you very yeah. very much in the name of a lot of buffy fans outside <laughs> and now we're coming to the best part you're gonna play live My pleasure to have you here. I wish you best of luck for the Thank coming you, years. Thank you. Thank I need a, a CD of this 5-0. What yeah. do you think? Will well, this let's happen? Let's see how old will I be then. <laughs> oh I, I could probably make it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you.